what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to interchange even number elements and odd number elements in c programming now before i go ahead and explain more about this let's go ahead and introduce an array from that i can explain it very well okay first i introduce an array in the, i'm calling this array as num in this array we are going to assign 10 elements let's say we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here what what we are going to do is we are going to switch the place like this is zeroth element and this is first element because the elements always start from zero so zeroth element we want to switch this one with the first element the first element has to be zeroth element so we are going to just switch it up like it's going to print it out like 2 1 then 4 3 then 6 5 then 8 7 and then 10 9 it should print it like that now let's go ahead and see how to do that first i'm going to introduce some integer more integer type of variable because we need some looping and also we have to get the input from the user to store those things i'm going to introduce two more variables integer and uh, one of them for equation i for the looping and t for the equation to interchange okay now let's go ahead and do the first uh, first we, we want to print how it's going to look like before interchange before interchange it's going to be just these numbers just to display that i'm going to give a printf statement printf statement in this printf statement we are going to mention before interchanging before interchange and then let's put a backslash backslash in so it will the numbers will print out in the next line okay and also to print here we have 10 uh, 10 elements so we have to print all the elements in order to print all the elements we have to use a for loop in this for loop i initialize i with zero if i initialize i with zero i have to end it i is less than or equal to nine or you can say less than 10 less than or equal to nine both of them are same thing because 0 to 9 is 10 okay then we have to do the increment by 1 and here we are going to print out pr display all the numbers before we do the interchange to do that I put printf statement in this printf statement all the numbers are integer type of variable integer type so we put percentage %d for that and the num let's put a backslash in so the numbers will print it in each next lines or you can put backslash t that will be better that will be better because we it is it's a tab tab between numbers okay so and then num it should print from the array num i and then that's it for printing and then we are going to create another for loop this is for the interchanging for loop i is equal to zero initializing with zero and same as previous one the condition is less than or equal to nine because it should run ten times but here we are going to do the increment by two i is equal to i plus two i is equal to i plus we do the increment by 2 and then now we are going to give the equation for interchanging first we set t is equal to num i and then we do the interchange by equating num i is equal to num i plus 1 i plus 1 and finally we equate num i plus 1 i plus 1 with t so here the what's happening is first we assigned a temporary variable that's why we put t temporary variable and we equate the first element and then we do the swapping because if we don't assign a temporary variable even we equate both of them like both of them will be same so the first element will be lost right so we have to store it in temporary variable then do the swapping and then we assign temporary variable to the next number so in that way we, we do the swapping here and then finally we have to print out the after interchange printf 
back slash send after interchange after interchange and uh, this this should print 10 numbers so we have to put same for loop here it should run 10 times and then we have to print out all the numbers it's going to be same as the previous one okay copy and paste it right here okay that's it now let's go ahead and run this one okay something wrong here let's see i think i'm missing a semicolon somewhere okay i'm missing a semicolon here let's run okay you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, i put a backslash n for this one so it will print in next line backslash n or oh, backslash n now let's run it again now you can see we can see the clear interchange 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then it's interchanged into 2 1 4 3 6 5 8 7 10 9 and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to access these codes it's in my blogger i put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and access them and also if you are trying to learn c or c plus programming there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time